God created it by hand From mighty mountains to the raging sea To every leaf on every single tree It's in the holy book Just open up and take a look The 12 tribes of Israel were led out of Egypt by Moses. God had promised them a home of their own, a land called Canaan. But once they got there, many Israelites were afraid of the armies of Canaan. they didn't trust God to help them win their battles. They wanted to go back to Egypt where they had been slaves. God decided that since they didn't trust him, they couldn't enter the promised land, and he had them wander the deserts for 40 years. After 40 years, God led the children of the 12 tribes back to the promised land. But instead of it being a time of joy, the Israelites were full of sadness. Their leader Moses had died, so they didn't have anyone to lead them to their new home. Boys, behave yourselves. Today we are remembering Moses. Joshua, who helped Moses for those 40 years, was remembering the great leader in his own special way. <gasps> Come to cheer me up, Turnip. <sighs> what will happen to our people now that Moses is gone? Who will guide us to the promised land? Why not you, Joshua? Turn up. You, you, you talked. It's me, Joshua. God? I've chosen you, Joshua, to lead the Israelites into the promised land. No, I can't. You helped Moses. But he was a great leader. I'm just an ordinary man, a simple servant. Don't be afraid. There is greatness in every man who has faith, Joshua. God, where is the land you promised us? Look west. What do you see? The desert floor and the Jordan River. Beyond that, foothills and green. The promised land. Take your people, Joshua. But I can't lead them. I'm frightened. Yes, you will face many dangers, but be strong. Remember, I will never leave you. Because Joshua loved God and obeyed his rules, God protected him. God's rules, known as the Ten Commandments, were written on stone tablets inside the Holy Ark. The river's very swift. Crossing won't be easy. Oh, this is foolish. Hmm. 
following Joshua as if he were Moses. Are you coming, Aram? Come, let's see what will happen. How about there, Joshua? I'll see how deep it is. Do you think you can cross it, little one? Oh, come on, it's just a little water. No! Oh! <laughs> Who are you? Go away! <gasps> I am Joshua, leader of the Israelites. God has promised us this land. <laughs> Did he? Well, I'm the king of Jericho, and you can't enter. We are protected by this swift river and the strongest wall in the world. If you can cross this river, you better be prepared for a fight. Our God protects us, as he protected Moses, our leader. <laughs> yes, I've heard that your God parted the Red Sea, but he has no power here. Stay away from Jericho, or my army will destroy you. What do we do, Joshua? Have faith and cross the river when God tells us to. You heard Joshua. Let's tell the others. <clears throat> I'm worried about this king of Jericho. He's like the waters of this river, dangerous. Joshua. Yes, God? Don't be afraid of the king. If you trust me, I will protect you. Joshua did trust in God. He selected two men to sneak into Jericho and tell him about the king's army. One, two, three soldiers. Uh, that third one is tiny. I'll only count him as half a soldier. Aram! We're spies. That means we have to be quiet. Go oh, quiet. Right. Spy! Oh, King, I'm only a harmless traveling merchant. Liar! You're a stranger in Jericho, so I say you're a spy! Hey! Shh. But he can't do that! More spies! Israelite spies! That's being quiet! Catch them! Stop the spies! Catch the Israelites! They must be here somewhere! My name's Rahab. I want to help. This way. Under here. Quickly. Open your doors! By order of the king! Out of my way! The Israelite spies! Did you see them? They were here, but they ran toward the city gates. If you hurry, you might still catch them. The king will be very unhappy if you let them get away. Mm. 
Rahab told the Israelites it was safe to come out of their hiding place. That was a very brave thing you did. Why did you risk your life for us, two strangers? Everyone in Jericho knows the Israelites are coming to our land. We've heard that your God rules the heavens above and the earth below. He's so powerful. He parted the Red Sea for Moses. Now our men are afraid to fight you. Go, hide in the hills for three days. Then you'll be safe. God bless you, Rahab. You're very kind. Wait. I showed kindness to you. When your people attack the city, please spare my family and me. We promise, Rahab. Leave this red rope hanging from your window. It will be a sign that no one in this house is to be harmed. Joshua's spies did as Rahab had said. After hiding in the mountains for three days, they ran back to camp with their report. That's what Rahab told us, Joshua. Everyone in Jericho is afraid of us. We can defeat this king of Jericho. I'm not so sure, Aram. He had a lot of soldiers. Ah, they were all small. Let's pray to God and thank him. He has done as he said. The promised land is ours. The next day, the 12 tribes marched towards Canaan. But as God had told Joshua, entering their new homeland wasn't going to be easy. How can we cross this river safely? Please, God, give me an answer. The water's too fast. No, oh, it's too I'm fast. Not, I'm not going to do this. No, no. How will we get our children and animals across? Don't be afraid. God has shown me a way. Bring out the Ark of the Covenant. Joshua directed the priests to carry the Ark into the river and hold it there. The Israelites were confused what did Joshua have in mind? This can't be safe. Joshua doesn't know what he's doing. Behold, the power of God. As the crowd watched, a miracle happened. <gasps> the priests held up the ark, and God held back the waters. It's just like when Moses parted the Red Sea. It's true then. God must be with Joshua, as he was with Moses. The Israelites' faith in Joshua grew and grew, for now they knew he followed in the footsteps of Moses. Joshua, choose 12 men, one from each tribe. Tell them to get 12 rocks from the middle of the river from where the priests stood. Carry the rocks and put them down where you stay tonight. In the future, your children will ask, what do these rocks mean? And you will say, the water stopped flowing when the Ark of the Covenant with God crossed the river. These rocks will always remind the Israelites of this.
One evening, Joshua was walking near Jericho. I followed God's commands without question. I've tried to be a good leader, but I'm not a soldier. How can I fight the king of Jericho and his army? Joshua. God, how shall the enemy be defeated? You won't need swords or armor, Joshua. Just have faith in me. To defeat the king and army of Jericho, here's what you must do. Early the next day, Joshua formed the Israelites into a long line. Remember, do as God instructed. Not a word, not a sound from any of you. First came seven priests playing ram's horns. Then the Ark of the Covenant. Then the armed men. They marched one time around the great city. Hmm, this is not fighting. <laughs> this is a parade! Well, I, I guess we won! <laughs> <laughs> When do we attack the city, Joshua? We don't. Tomorrow we march around it again. <laughs> and just like today, everyone must be quiet. No shouts of war. The only sounds can come from the ram's horns. So the Israelites marched once around Jericho. every day for six days. And for six days, nothing happened. You Israelites are fools! And the biggest fool is your leader, Joshua! <laughs> On the morning of the seventh day, Joshua's people were restless. Joshua, you do not know what you are doing. Our people are tired of marching in circles. We need a soldier for a leader. Yes, let's fight. You're right. I'm not a soldier, but I do have faith in God. He didn't let Moses down and he won't let us down so long as we trust in him. This is the seventh and last day. Who will come with me? I will. All of us. Tell everyone we will march. And march they did. But instead of going around the city just once, as they had done for six full days, Joshua said that God wanted them to march seven times. And on the seventh time around, they did something completely different. Shout! Yell! Scream! So that the heavens can hear you! Shout! For God has given us Jericho! <laughs> We wandered through the desert sand Hoping we could find God's promised land And now it's here before us Behind a fortress tall But it will not be ours Until we bring down the walls Bring down the walls of Jericho Bring down the walls Lift your horns and blow to the ground we'll see the promised land when the walls come down we believe in god that
that he is with us here. His power is much greater than that army over there. Our enemies are laughing, but their kingdom soon will fall. When we raise our voices, we will bring down the walls. Bring down the walls of Jericho. Bring down the walls. Lift your horns and blow. The sound we make is gonna shake the city to the ground. We'll see the promised land. Shout out loud, shout out strong That wall around the city won't keep us out for long Sing to God, one and all That land that we were promised is right behind those walls Bring down the walls With their voices, a few ram's horns, and their faith in God, the Israelites captured Jericho. Joshua, these are the people who helped us, Rahab, her mother and father. You're a brave woman, Rahab. God has watched over you and your family because of your faith and for helping my people. Can we stay and join you, Joshua? Nothing would make me happier. Don't touch me, Israelite. How dare you treat me this way? Why, I'm, I'm the king. You were the king. When I said God promised us this land, you laughed and called me a fool. Who's the fool now? You can't, no. Has anyone seen Turnip? For you. <laughs> Perfect. My friends, our days of wandering are over. We're home. After Jericho was captured, the Israelites kept moving and claimed more and more new land. Their wandering days were over, all because Joshua and the Israelites had faith in God. Long ago, word spread throughout the land of a wonderful teacher in Jerusalem. It was Jesus, the Son of God. He helped people who were sick.
and encourage those who were lonely. He answered their questions and told them about God. Jesus traveled from place to place, and wherever he went, people wanted to hear what he had to say. <laughs> you know, the angels of children are always very close to God in heaven. my baby pray for my child no go away one of Jesus's disciples was upset can't you see Jesus is too busy to waste his time on children wait my father's kingdom is made up of people who trust and love like children do to God every child is a special treasure as my disciple you should know I could never turn children away I'm sorry, Jesus. Here. Please, come back. I was wrong. Jesus will bless your children. Jesus was never too busy for anyone, young or old, sick or well. <laughs> Teacher! If you really know all the answers, tell me. How can I get into heaven? You've studied God's law. What do you think? Well, it says to love God with all my heart and mind and strength. And I should love my neighbors and other people as much as I love myself. That's right. But wait, I understand everything but that last part. Who are my neighbors? And how do I love others? So, what's your answer, Jesus? There's the story of a young man. He left Jerusalem on a trip to Jericho. The young man checked his money carefully, as his father had always told him to. and then began his journey. Morning. Good morning. Along the way, the man greeted other travelers, including a priest from the temple. Have a safe journey. And you also. As his journey continued, he came upon another traveler. A Levite. Levites help the priests in the temple. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Good journey to you. And to you. As time passed, the traveler saw fewer and fewer people on the road. <laughs> so I'm not alone. What a beautiful bird. I remember seeing such a bird once. Oh, 
Oh, Papa! Can we look at the birds? <laughs> we always do, son. Ah! Ah! Oh, Papa, don't you just love the birds? Love the birds! Ah! Love the birds! Come on, your mother sent us to buy almonds for our dinner. down the street from us, don't they? Yes, they're our neighbors. They're good people. Oh, Papa, look! <laughs> Who's that man? Him? He's not from Jerusalem. He's from Samaria. That's a Samaritan? Stay here, son. The Samaritans are not like our neighbors. They are our enemies and can't be trusted. The boy was taught to fear anyone from a different place. Always remember, beware of the Samaritans. Beware of the Samaritans. The traveler was completely alone on the road when a stranger approached. He was frightened because his father had always warned him to be afraid of people from other places. But the foreigner did not bother him. Greetings, little fellow. Here's a treat for you. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't see you. Good day, stranger. How are you? Hello. Are you from Jerusalem? That's a relief. It's good to see neighbors so far from home. Ow! You have a firm grip, friend. You haven't felt anything yet. <gasps> Grab him! W w what are you doing? Please stop! We're neighbors! So give us all your money, neighbor. <laughs> Let's get out of here! The thieves took the traveler's money and jewelry, and they almost took his life. No one could hear his cries for help, so he tried to crawl back to the road. Oh, oh, I know you'd help me if you could, little friend. 
the poor traveler lay in the ditch for hours. Someone's coming. How fortunate. It's the priest. He'll help me. But I'm so, so tired. The traveler needed help, but he was too weak to call out. What's this? Oh my goodness! Someone should help this poor man. The priest passed the traveler on the opposite side of the road. Where did he go? Oh, oh. The Levite. <laughs> <laughs> He called me friend. Help, please, 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 friend. No, no, not me. Please. Like the priest before him, the Levite passed on the other side of the road. What will I do? What will I do? Isn't there... Anyone who will help me? By late afternoon, the poor traveler had grown very weak. Hello, little friend. I'm afraid I, I won't make it through the night. Tell me, God, where are my neighbors now that I need them? At sunset, another traveler came down the road. Someone's coming. Always remember, beware of the Samaritans. Just when I need help the most, along comes a Samaritan. Maybe he hasn't seen me. Who is it?
This is medicine for your cuts and scrapes. Now, this should help. I don't understand. I'm going to take you to a safe place tonight. But why? You're a Samaritan. Ah, then you have met my people before. Travelers passing by couldn't believe their eyes. A Samaritan was helping an Israelite. Don't talk. Save your strength for our journey ahead. I hope this doesn't hurt too much. The Samaritan led his donkey to a small inn. Was there an accident? Is he all right? No, we must get him inside. Of course. Yes, I s I saw him too. But who is that with him? Why, it's a Samaritan! But a Samaritan wouldn't help an Israelite. Would he? Just rest now. Thank you. All night, the Samaritan cared for the injured man. He's looking much better. I must travel on business today. Take this money and pay for anything he needs until I get back. When I return, I'll pay you for any other expenses. I can't thank you enough. I'll see you in a few days. I asked God where my neighbors were when I needed them. He has given me the answer. And the Samaritan did as he promised. A few days later, he took the traveler back to Jerusalem.
Instead of your eyes, the neighbor you find will be a big surprise. Look for a neighbor, he will be the one. Hand in hand we go, always standing by your side when the day is done. Look for a neighbor, he will be the one. Always standing by your side. So tell me, which man was the neighbor to the traveler? The priest, the Levite, or the Samaritan? Well, that's easy. The one who cared for him. As we should all do, showing kindness to everyone. So don't just love the people in your family or your friends. Love everybody, especially those in need. Live your life like the Good Samaritan. I will, Jesus. Let me help you, young neighbor. The story Jesus told that day spread throughout the world. And now, a person who helps someone in need is called a Good Samaritan. <laughs> 